We heard that you just signed up for an online course through the Texas Virtual School Network. Listen up because we've got some great study tips. To be successful in online learning, one of the most important study skills is knowing how to communicate, communicate. with your instructor and online classmates. In some online courses, you may never see your instructor or the other students. This is really different when you're used to talking face to face, like in a traditional classroom. And because it's online, you might think taking this course is going to be easier. Not so. Like we said, it's just different. You still have lots of reading, written exercises. Research papers and tests. That's why it's so important to communicate with your online instructor and the other students. There are several ways to communicate, by email, chat rooms, and discussion boards, even calling. Online instructors monitor your activity and will email you with progress reports, concerns, or questions. So check your email daily. If you aren't logging on, completing work, or responding to your messages, your instructor might think you're not interested in continuing the course. Now one thing about email, it can waste a lot of time. As you get to know your online classmates, your inbox may fill up with messages that have nothing to do with your studies. It's not cool when you overlook an email from your instructor on a new assignment because you had so many emails from other students about who watched what TV show last night. So what did you watch last night? The solution to this email overload is to set up two email accounts, one for your studies and one for your personal use. It's up to you, but it can make things easier when you're trying to communicate with your instructor and classmates about coursework. And remember to email your instructor if you're not going to be online for a few days, you're going on a vacation or have gotten sick, you have questions about assignments or grades, and if you're experiencing technical problems. Another way to communicate with your instructor and other students is in the live online chat rooms. They're awesome. You get to read about different viewpoints, share your knowledge, and ask questions. But watch out for people who can get too chatty. It can be easy to get off topic when you should be completing assignments. You don't need to know what I watched on TV last night. Discussion boards are also really important for communicating with your online instructor and other students. These message boards are different from chat rooms and are usually for thought out responses to discussion questions. It's easy to follow the thread of the messages as they're usually saved. Then when you study for exams and write papers, these discussion threads are an awesome resource. So think about what you want to say. Your online instructor is watching and assessing many times to see what you post on these discussion boards. Now let's talk about how to communicate with your instructor relating to audio podcast, video, and web conferencing. Podcast lectures let you listen to your instructor at any time and any place. With a video, it's like attending a lecture in real life. You can see and hear your instructor, unlike audio podcast. Video lectures allow you to watch demonstrations, but you still can't ask questions. So whether you're listening to a podcast or watching a video lecture, take notes and write down any questions you can think of. Communicate your questions to your online instructor during a chat session or by email. Web conferencing is another really cool way you might learn in your online course. You may talk with your instructor in real time and in some cases be able to see your instructor on screen and chat using headsets. Just don't get nervous and forget what you have to say, like I did once. Be prepared, check out the program ahead of time and log in a few minutes early. That way you can communicate with your instructor. No problem. As we wrap up our online study skills tips to help you communicate, communicate with your instructor and your online classmates, remember to participate by email, in chat rooms, and on discussion boards. Make your contributions meaningful, respectful, and efficient. Now let's learn online. Piece of cake.